Joseph Clyde for AscensionPathway.com on the Evan Fain YouTube channel, bringing you another episode of grid work, geoengineering on a daily basis. And today is Friday, February 5th, 2016, and they're right out full force again, spraying the plume. Got wisps already here from earlier spraying. Look at over here as I turn right around. We got a nasty guy up here spraying. Look at that rail. Oh man, look at that rail. Oh, it's just spewing out of there. Look how long the rail is too. Look how long the rail is. Look at this rail over here. The whole sky, they're railing it up. You can see the plumes everywhere as they start to make the grid. So we call this show grid work to educate you people on how they make the grid in the sky. Look at these plumes. The whole sky completely plumed. Got wisps over here. Just look at the plume out of this guy. Just spewing the plume. Whole sky completely, almost getting completely covered. You're blocking the vitamin D. Look at this guy up here spraying. My God. Look at that. You can see the grid. Come back over here and look into that uh, southeastern sector. You can see a couple of rails already right there as well. I mean, come on. Enough's enough. Look at these plumes. Back out a few minutes later and look at this guy blowing this rail. And he's coming up the pipe. He's going to cross a few grids here. Got the big grid already dispersed over here, so it no longer can see the X. This guy, look at the fend work coming off of Mingus Mountain. Look at the fend work. Yeah, baby. We'll show you the cell tower array real quick here. Should be right in between the, there it is, right between the power lines. There's one sector, and there's another cell tower array over here. See if we can find it. There it is. And look right above that. You got your fin work. See the fins? See how they're finning it? And if you look real close, you can see that busted up rail right there inside the existing plume. Look at this plume. Look at the disbursement of this rail. That was that rail that went by I just showed you. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at the X marks the spot. Oh my gosh, the other block of the sun blocked like usual. Oh, this may be a tanker of some sort. Because they do have, it looks like, no, it's not a tanker, but he might have that tanker mix because he has a small chain link effect in that rail. We'll get him as he comes overhead. Here he comes. Looks like a silver bullet. Blue bottom silver bullet. Look at the plumage. Look at the plumage of that rail. Wow. The 
as I leave him showing you the rest of the plumed up sky. That's what they've done. It's all plumed into that northern sector. Look at that. Look at these rails. Look at that configuration they got here. Look at over here. Fresh rails all the way in the back. Fresh rails. Oh my god. This whole day is going to be wrecked by chemtrail foam. The railing continues. Look at that western sector. Look at this rail, this guy blew. Oh my gosh, look at the length of that rail. All the way across. Look. Oh my gosh, they're railing everywhere. Look at the guy up here railing too. One rail after another as they fill up our skies. Where's, like I said before, where's the media in this? Oh yeah, sunny skies with chemtrail plume. That's our forecast. Look at this mess. Just look at that mess. My gosh, where is the local media taking pictures of this? Hey, look at over here. Got another guy coming up. They're just not going to stop. There he is. See the plume? Just to keep adding to the plume. Oh, look at this rail hidden in here. See, it's already wisping. My God, look at this. Just get a good look. There's your cloud. Look at this rail back in here. See the guy hiding in there? See the rail? Look at that rail. My God, they're everywhere. Look at this guy just crossed the grid. Got a guy up here spraying. Follow his rail down. And we got this guy's rail. See the grid work? That's why we call the show The Grid. Today's a good day. They're really railing us up. Look at that plume. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back over here in this western sector, you can see the X marks the spot there as well. The grid being built on a continuing basis. Whole sky, nothing but plume. We got another guy coming up this way. Oh yeah, can't see with the sun in my eyes. There's a railer up there. I'm gonna turn around and get him. Back on this guy way over here, he looks like a red bad boy. Hard to tell. Anyway, rails everywhere. Here's what we call putting the icing on the cake. This guy's up there pretty good, laying a nice top layer to the plume. See that? Way up there. Long, nasty rail, too. It's only been about 15 minutes, and look at this rail. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a Christmas tree bulb effect. Rail right up in there, nasty. Guy spinning the rail, they run it parallel. Look what they're doing. Look at the parallel rails. My God, the whole sky's gonna be completely plumed. Look at this guy coming up here making the grid here. Oh yeah. Right in the existing plume. Look at that nasty. Get a good look. Get a real good look. Look at that plume. Look at that plume. He crosses this rail there, so they already got a nice little cloudoid thing going. You can see the other side of the rail. Look at this. Another guy spraying over here now. See him in there? Another rail there. A little chevron crossing the grid there. He's heading right for this guy's rail. We're gonna follow his rail down so you can see exactly what they're doing. There's the X marks a spot here and he's making another rail X there. My God, the whole sky is almost completely plumed. Look at over here. Look at it now. See how it's all just, look at this. What do you even call this? Now, this is a red bad boy. Oh, it's a red bad boy. 
Get a good look at the red bad boy. There he is. Nasty plume. Get a good look at the look at the plume. Oh, so nasty. Here's this guy coming over here across the grid. There it is. Grid work complete. Oh man, this is terrible. Here's a good example of what we call a Christmas tree bulb effect. The chem trailer just went by. See how it's dripping on one side? Look at See the Christmas tree bulb? Or Billy Bob teeth or intestinal villi. You can see how it looks. Let me move in under the lines here. You get a better look. See? See how the chemtrail turns? So when you see this in the sky, you know this is a chemtrail. It's ain't a cloud. The chemtrail plume. This is one of the this is a Christmas tree bulb light effect that the plumes give off. Look at the other rails back in there. Oh my god. Alright, we're back on the uh, Christmas tree bulb effect. So you understand how it works. This is the Christmas tree bulb effect plume here, and now, now look at it. See how it changes. People, if they're not watching, they wouldn't have a clue. Look how it's already starting to wisp. That's incredible. And those frequencies are going over here. You can see the it's orange peely now. Thins orange peely. If you look real close through the uh, phone wires, you can see another rail in there as they make up the grid. See that? Oh my gosh. And this is only a tiny sector of the sky. Look at this guy back here. He turned his rail. Look at the rail. See the turnage in the rail? And there he goes down there on the horizon. And let me back it up where you can see how what this guy had done. Look at the rail up here. And it turns. And look at the nasty. Oh my gosh, look at the nasty rail. Look how long this thing is. Look! My, all the way down to the horizon. And as I pan over here in that northern sector, look at this little curly cool of a... whatever this guy left here and turned it off. This stuff has to stop. Where that guy turned the rail just to the left of him, to my left, you can see where the X marks the spot again. Guy over here railing it up. My God, how many jets are out here? Where were they all the other days? Uh -huh. Exactly. Coming over here, another sprayer. So it's just one right after another. Why do we as a species put up with this? It just doesn't take them long. Look, we got another guy blowing this nasty rail. It's not even 11.30 yet. And look at the damage they've done to our skies with all this toxic plume. Isn't, you see the hypocrisy in this. They're worried about cars when there's so much of this plume in our skies. Here's that rail that had turned over the mountain. I showed you earlier, look how big that got. But look at this guy. Just blowing the nasty rail. Look at that nasty. Caught this guy making a grid and look, you can see the shadow rail. See how he's going side by side that shadow rail? Can you see it in there? We feel this is laser guided. And these guys are following the path as best they can to spray this plume. Look at this plume. Look, look at the rail. Right over, look at how the X marks the spot. You don't, you don't get a better grid than that. Look, oh, come on, look at the grid work. Just look at the friggin' grid work here. And look at this guy over here spraying, going the other way. You see him? See him in there? And he's got a shadow rail. See the shadow there? See the shadow rail? What the hell is going on? Look back here, we got another guy spraying. It's just one after another. These guys rail it up. Look at our skies. Look at these rails. Oh my God. Look at, we even got a hidden X way back in here. I mean, come on, enough's enough. Look at this crap. Look at the wisp and the plume. Look at double railers over here. Come on. Look at this. Go home.
Our whole sky is being wrecked today by these guys. Look over here. Another guy up here spraying. You see him spraying up in there? I don't know, the sun's in my eyes. Oh, we got a guy over here spraying too. Oh, jeez. Just constant railing all day long. Look how these have all thinned and the wisps have thinned out. Rails everywhere, it's the soot just falls. You can see the wisps falling out of here. And that's probably why this guy up here is heading that way. And that's so is this guy. If you can see him in there. See him? A little blurry, sorry about that. Battery's getting low, I've been filming so much this morning. Now look at this. Just look at this. Look at this rails. Come on, side by side. Making the grid, just making a big mess. And you can see the shadow rail here. See the shadow rail? Uh-huh. They're following the rail pattern. As they shoot the laser to, look at X marked the spot there. Oh, it's just so nasty. Got another one. It's just not going to stop. Look at the nasty rail this guy spewing. Look at the spewage out of him. God, where is the media? It's almost chain linky, but it's not quite chain linky like a tanker, but pretty damn close. Yeah, it's hard to tell through the trees. It is a little chain linky as you look over here. Little chain, look at the friggin' rails everywhere. <laughs> just moments later, I can't even go in the house for a few minutes. I just come back out and I got this guy spraying. And there's a guy right above him spraying another rail. I don't know if you can see him in there or not. He's over here. Let me see. Somewhere in there. I'll have to wait to see. But look at over here. Just look at this. It's a red bad boy. Look at the plume. It's a red bad boy. And he's laying a nasty rail. Look, he's got the shadow rail thing going. He's going right alongside the shadow rail. Let's get a good look. See the red bad boy? You see the shadow rail ahead of him? Look at the plume come out of there. You're happy with this? Look at the media is not showing this on TV. You can see it on commercials, backgrounds, all your uh, car commercials got chemtrail plume in the sky. Just look for yourself. It's that obvious. Look how the grid is starting to be built. It's a sloppy grid too. This red bad boy has a minor chain link effect in there. See that? See the, look at that. He's got tanker plume. There's only one plume that does that. That's from the tanker. And yeah, we got a red bad boy doing it. And look, he's right into the shadow of that rail. Get a good look. You see the shadow? Oh my gosh, what the hell is happening to our skies? Look at the plumage. Look at the plumage. Oh God, look how this is all dispersed already. Look at this. Look how this is already thin. Just in a matter of moments, these rails are all railed up in the nice, perfect, wispy lines. And we got more coming up to shoot in a little bit. Look at this. I can't even go in the house and turn my back for a second. Look at this guy blowing a rail. It almost looks like a tanker. Let me back him off and bring him back in. Look at the unsymmetrical plumage out of that silver bullet. Look at the unsymmetrical plumage. As he crossed that grid there, they're just railing it up like there's no tomorrow. And there may not be. Look, here comes another one. Oh my gosh, one after another. Where's the media? People need to know what's going on. Look at the plume this guy's blowing. 
It ain't gonna stop. Look at this. He's heading right for the grid line. Let me back it off so you can see him make the grid. It's a sloppy grid, too. They're just up here spraying like there's no tomorrow. Like I said, look at that. Right underneath the existing plume. Getting that sun blocked. Oh, my gosh. Just can't let this go. Look, at there's another guy out there railing another rail. Just look how they've got this all spread out. This is only in the southern sector. Oh, look what we got going here. Another silver bullet blowing some plum. He's, he's got an early lunch. He's back in action. Well, 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 look at this. We got another guy spraying just moments later, covering up our sunlight. Right over top, that'll disperse right over the sun. Here's your global dimming. And as I just go up here, we got another guy spraying another plume. So if you think it's going to stop anytime soon, better guess again, that's a red bad boy. Look at that nasty rail coming out of there. If you look real close, you can see the extra plumes coming off to the side of the regular plumes. Look real close. You can see it coming out of there. Wow. This guy got sneaking across the sky here. He's in a big hurry, probably to go refill his tanks so he can spray some more toxic plume in their skies so they can charge you with carbon taxes. <laughs> Wake up, America. We got a silver bullet coming upstream to add to the existing plume that you see already falling from the sky. Let me back it off so you can see the plume. See the existing plume already dispersed and he's heading right to the edge of that to add more to it. Oh yeah. Look at that silver bullet. Nasty plume. We're back on the plume where that glass trailer just went through. And that's where his rail is. Look how it all dispersed into the existing plume. So covertly, nobody even notices it. Look at that. And look how it's starting to cover up the sun. Sun, let me remind you, it's white. It should be yellow. And then we got a guy, a couple of guys. Look at here. Got a guy spraying over here. Look at the angle he's taking. Okay. And now we got another guy just above him. The silver bullet coming the other way. And real soon here you'll see them both in the viewfinder, both on the screen as they cross their paths, one higher than the other. You can see that for sure. No chance of a collision. But there you go. There's the grid being perfect explanation of how the grid's being built. Look at that. There it is. Perfect grid work. That's why we call the show the grid work to make people understand exactly what's going on. Another silver bullet just lacing the sky with more plume. He's heading for the grid as well. They're really intent on building that grid. Look at that silver bullet. You can see the side fuselage tanks so as that stuff just spews out of there. Oh, yeah. You know where he's headed. Into the plume. You can see his angle of trajectory, how he would have crossed this guy's plume here, somewhere out in the juncture of there. So that you can still see the grid. It's a crappy grid. Kind of a sloppy grid. Or they're angling it into sacred geometry in the tetrahedrons. Look, he's in the plume now. There you have it. Adding more to the mix. We'll show you what happens to the plume after this settles in there for a while. Here's where that guy left that major X there. Look at the trail is still lingering. Look at that. What's in that friggin' plume? Look how nasty that looks. Over here you can see where the guy just went by. He's way in the horizon now. And his plume is stuck in there. You can't even tell. Wow. 
Look at this, a red bad boy appearing out of nowhere. Look at this, where did he come from? He, he was hiding in the plume. Look at the spewage. Wow, that's a nasty one, dude. Almost looks like a silver bullet. Look at the, he's sputtering now. Look at that plume. That's a silver bullet. Look at the spewage. Look at the, how unsymmetrical it is. Look, he missed a spot. How can that be? Clogged nozzle? What the? Now he stopped. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Look at that. Now he spewed it back up again. What the hell are these guys doing? Oh, my gosh. That is a bunch of BS. Look at that. He stopped it. Look how thick this rail is. Just like the other one. Wrist like where the other one was. We're finally figuring out what these assholes are doing. Excuse the language, but this stuff's got to stop. Here's that other rail that didn't disperse yet. See? And then he laid this one out of nowhere coming out of the plume. Here you see he turned it on. Okay? Right next to this one. So the slow dissipating mix. You can see if from the tail end of that, now he's gone and there's no plume. He just laid the plume next to this other plume. Jeez. Come on, man. You're not seeing this? Where is the media in all of this? This should be front page news in every newspaper. Plumed again. Well, it looks like the afternoon crew is in full tilt. We got another guy spraying overhead. Making up a new grid pattern. Let it focus in there for you. A little blurry. Look at that plume. Look how the plume here is uh, dispersing into the Christmas tree bulb effect. And then look at the plume next to it as it all disperses and starts to wisp out from the side. After another, we got another guy spraying a real nasty one. We'll zoom him in. It's like a silver bullet. Oh, that's the thickness. And look at the, yeah, look at the thickness of the plume. Looks like it's coming out of the turbo fan. Wow, that's nasty. Get a look at the plume. How much more of this are we going to be able to take? Look at the length of that rail. Look at the length of that rail. There's a side of the house there, so it even goes beyond that. Well, we just the day wouldn't be complete without a tanker. Now we're seeing a lot of these tankers. They're blowing a lot of plume. They're up in the program now. They're really up in it. You can see the tanker. Look at that friggin' plume, unsymmetrical too. Look how nasty the plumage is. Let me back them off. I'm gonna reduce the zoom. Okay, I got the plume reduced. You can see where he's had, he's had right for the last plumer here. See the guy that just went by? He's had right for the edge of that grid. There it is, X marks the spot. Beautifully done there, Mr. Tanker. Well, just look at this. Look at the chain link effect on this plume. Look at the chain link. We told you these tankers are notorious for these chain link effects. Look at that. Come on now. Contrail? Are you, don't insult my intelligence. And don't insult your own. Look at this. It's not, it's not a contrail. These are toxic. Look at What would make a chemtrail turn into a chain link effect like that? Tell me. Give me an answer. You don't have one. I know. Look at that. They're destroying the sacred geometry of our universe. Of our planet. Everything. More Christmas tree bulb effect. So you understand that. See how that is? That's what we call the Christmas tree bulb effect. And look at that. Right at the X. And then we had a guy coming out of nowhere. Comes over here. Look at this. Oh my God. And he just crossed that grid. So we got the, the X there. The the X here, okay, he's got a little faster dissipating mix in him. Look at that. Come on. Silver bullet. 
Now I'm panning over here. This guy just crossed over here, and he just mixed and matched with this plume there. Oh my God, it's enough to make you cry. Same guy going again, and you can see he's going right over top of the existing plume. Wherever there's plume, you got a plumer. Got this guy blowing the rail here, but I missed him crossing the grid line there. But you can see with this trajectory where he had come from. Just not going to stop the spraying. Look at this. Here's a perfect example of the grid being made. There's that guy and that guy, look as he just crossed. Silver bullet. Silver bullet. It's not red bad boy time yet. You can see the X marks the spot. <laughs> Got to be about 130. Got this guy railing it up. Then he stopped it. Then he, here's the rest of his rail. So he brought it up from here. Kept it going. Let it go. And then resumed the spraying. Now why in the hell would you do that? Clog nozzle? Where in the hell did that jet come from? Did you see him in there? In the meantime, I want to show you what this guy had done. He's heading to meet the path of the other guy. Let me back it off so you can see. Getting a lot of tree action in the way here. But he's going to match up with that guy through the trees there. They're getting real close. See? More proof of the grid being built. I know you don't need much more. We already know what's going on, but we're just going to show you the people who don't have a clue still have a hard time figuring out what's going on. Look at that guy coming up that way. That guy went that way. They'll meet the pass. The plumes are still in existence. They're still in the sky. Got a big plume way in the back there still existing with a railer right underneath bringing up more plume. So if you think it stopped, guess again. Here's another view. The one guy on the top just went by. This guy's still bringing up the rear over here. So the pluming continues. It's a real damn shame. This could have been a beautiful day. Well, it's getting close to 2 o'clock, right on time with the Red Bad Boys. We got one flying right here, blowing some plume. You can see he's the Red Bad Boy. Look at the nasty rail. Let me back it off for you. Nasty rail. Let me back it off really good here so I can show you. Then he sputtered it. And then there's this other piece there. See? See how he did that? Very covertly, just throw, just exhausting the toxic waste in our sky. Local airplaner here. Heard some of the local pilots complaining that their airplanes are full of soot. They don't know what it is. Well, we know what it is. It's the soot from the chemtrails. Well, we got the second shift in the works. It's a little after 2 o'clock. We got this guy spraying. Silver bullet. This guy just crossed his path over here. See him? And now we got this big honker here laying a nasty rail. Look at that nasty rail. Let me show how long it is too. So you got three jets all converging, converging on one spot. Here's the other one. This guy actually left the chain link. They're really spewing that chain link's plume. And they're not even in tankers because this guy's a silver bullet. My God, look at all the leftover whiffs in the sky. It's just nasty. Rails down on the horizon. And as I pan back over here where these three guys were, we got another one inside the midst of that plume. And there he is. Just going to show you exactly what's happening today. Non-stop railing and pluming. Get a load of this. It's not even 3 o'clock yet. We're getting pretty close to 3. Look at that. Four rails with a cross grid. Look at that. Checkerboard in our skies. Don't people see this? They think this is normal. Look at those plumes. Look at those plumes, the way they've got them. Come on. Look at that. 
Look at the friggin' rails. Look at the rails back here. My God, look at those rails. Those guys all railed up. Look at that. And people, th no, they don't even question this. Look, look how ridiculous that is. Got another rail out here with a Christmas tree bubble effect. All right up in there, look at that. It's just not gonna stop. Just getting ready to head out to the gym. 315, look at the size of this rail. They just been spraying it up all day long. Look at the length of that rail. Get another look. Get another look. Look how long. Horizon to horizon of this chem trail plume. And this over here is what's left to those uh, those four rails. It's all kind of drifting apart. That's why they had to lay another rail in there. See, they got to reconstruct that grid. Here's that leftover rail that that guy left. I'm just going to show you as I pan down here what we have. Okay, this is that conglomerate of those four different rails. Look at it now. It all just kind of winds and unwinds and disperses into a bunch of soot. In the meantime, got this guy over here bringing up the rear. Let's see if I can reel him in a little bit better than that. Can't seem to see him. I know he's there. He's heading up to that first rail. And there he is. Look at that plume. Isn't that nasty? Look at that friggin' plume. He said, you know where he's headed. You got it for those rails. You already crossed one, making more of the grid. Here you see the difference of what they're doing. Now look at the length of the rail. Look how it's lingering between the other rails. And so long as, as long as he crosses those other rails, but back here where he started, it's already gone. So he kicks on the injectors a little heavily to make up the grid. Look at that. Blue bottom silver bullet. Unsymmetrical plume. See the, unsymmet see the unsymmetrical plumage there? Look how it's coming out more out of one side than the other. Come on, man. Enough's enough. It's only seconds later we got another one. There he is. See? He's coming up on the far side of the grid to connect those rails. I heard a rumbling noise through the traffic and I caught this guy blowing this rail now. It's just, man, all day long. We're ready for the night crew and those blue tails. They'll be showing their, their little butts pretty soon too. Look at the plumage, you can see the grid. See, there's the rest of it. When do we know we got another guy up here railing, right next to him. Got a railer there, and a railer that just went by here. <laughs> it's just never gonna stop, is it? Brief overview of the sky, showing you all the plumage. Okay, all the plumage. See, then we got a guy right up here spraying. And then as I look into that western sector, we got another guy back here. So it's just an on out, all day spray. Looks like I got my sights on a red tail. Let's see if I can zoom him in. At least this plume looks symmetrical. Well, we got somebody hiding in the plume. Looks like a red bad boy. I got you, red bad boy. Let me back it off so you can see the plume, what he's doing. See, he's inside that little wisp, adding more plume. I'm in the gym working out and I couldn't miss up this. Got double rails going. Got one there, and one down there. Double parallel rails, still contaminating the sky. 
Well, it's about five o'clock and we got a red bad boy spraying a nasty little rail. Look at that red bad boy. Oh my, there's been just so many sprayers. There's like three or four in the sky right now, but I'm not gonna bore you with their trails. But I will show you this. We got a mini Medusa. See how they're trying to whisk that all into a Medusa-like formation? Not quite though. You can see the nasty plume in the center of that. There it is. Nasty plumage. Here's my buddy. He follows me around wherever I go. If I look up here, he knew exactly what I was supposed to look at. A nasty silver bullet spinning another unsymmetrical rail. Just look at the plumes. Whoop, a little blurry there. But just get a look at the plumes. Unsymmetrical. All day. All day long. Now here's a better look at that Medusa with the plume on the inside. See the plume? And look where that guy's headed. Ready for the plume. And just below him, there's another guy spraying. Yeah, see what they're doing. Uh, you finally got all the airspace up here. And over there, they got to go right into that plume. Don't insult your own intelligence. It's time you wake up, see the light for what it really is. Look at the different colored plumes. Well, it doesn't take long for that second shift to get motivated. Here they come. They're all running the intermediate mix. I don't know, is that a blue tail? Wouldn't surprise me. This is the time they come out. Looks like a blue tail. Alongside that blue tail, I got a guy down here spraying. And then just alongside of him, we got another guy spraying over there. So you got three guys railing it up. It's almost as if it's a racer who can spray the most blue. Looks like we may have our sights on another blue tail. Look at the plume. Look at the nasty plume. Blue bottom anyway. It's 5.30 and I caught this guy screaming across the sky. He's got that un unsymmetrical plume. Very well could be one of those blue tails, the second shifters. Let's get a look. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But look at the plume. That's remnant of the blue tail. Leftover wisps. As he heads into the grid. Like I said, I could stand here all day and video these things because they just keep coming one right after another. Look at over here. You wouldn't even notice them. But here on the Evan Fane YouTube channel, we try to get as much as we can. You back him off. He's heading right into the wisp. There he is there. A lot of people say, well, I didn't even see him. Yeah, most people don't. They don't care. And look at down here. Look we got down there. Another guy blowing up another rail. Jeez. You saw the damage that was done today. It's up to us as a people to stop this. We gotta stop it. Well, it's that time. Look at the guys out here railing it up now. Looks like a blue tail. Get him in nice and slow. Looks like a blue tail. And look at down here. There's a sidekick. Spraying that rail. I'm going to zoom it up make sure he's a blue tail. Alright, here we go. We're looking to see if he's a blue tail. Usually with this zoom it starts to jump. Look at the plumage. I don't know. I zoom it in anymore it'll be bouncing all over the screen. 
Pretty much looks like a blue tail to me. We'll wait and see on the big screen. Looks like I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to leave it with just a little bit of a bomb here. You can see the chemtrail plumes. Guy just laced this rail and I missed him. Have a good night, people. See you tomorrow. You know how hard it is for me to say goodbye. I have to bring in this eastern sector backward sunset again. As you can see, you might think that's blue down there. It's really not. Okay? That's all toxic plume. That's a gray. It look, kind of looks blue because there's pink up here. And then the yellow. Then it starts getting into the blue. Okay? Well, actually, it's, it's not really blue anymore. If you look real hard, on the top of the pink layer, you can see a chemtrail rail hidden inside. See it in there? See the rail? Oh yeah. Now as I pan all the way around to the western sector, see a little portion of it. And guess what we got here? Yeah, look at the orange. Okay, we know it's toxic plume. Look at that. You can see it's going to turn black real soon. Clouds don't turn that. People think this is a beautiful kind of a look. It's really not. You can already see in the top it's already starting to turn darker. And eventually that'll all be black. See you tomorrow. It's funny what you've done to me.